So the staff members of the coffee shop, the name of the coffee shop, Tant Mali Sitain, they say that Tant Mali is always cross. And Sophie, she's a student. She only works Tuesdays and Thursdays for part-time work. Now, Lynn and Agnes, Agnes is another staff member at Tant Mali Sitain. They collide at the swing doors and they break a bunch of crockery, or so plates and all that. And this means that they'll have to work several days without pay to make up for the breakage. Now, Lynn, she protests calmly, but eventually quits, but she does promise to pay for the breakage. And we learn when she gets home that her mother's alcohol problem worsens quite a bit. And Tani Betts helps them with meals. So Tani Betts is like this angel from above. And then we have Gerard, our domineer. So he's a minister at the church. He's a predicant. And Lynn calls him Kaifi. And he visits them, offers help, but Lean replies quite curtly, so very quickly, and thinks cynically that, you know, he's a lightweight, you know, like he doesn't have enough in him. And secretly calls him Kaifi, not the best word. She gives everyone all these little nicknames. Now, Tani Betts recommends Durki. Durki is a hairdresser as another possibility for work for Lean. Durki and Donovan, they own a salon called Millennium Creations. So Durki tells Lynn that they need someone to help out on Saturdays as well as in the afternoon, so some more part-time work. And we learn that Lynn is angry with Voted because he has started to fit in at school and she almost feels as though that she's losing him. She avoids walking to school with him and she leaves earlier in the mornings. 